Well, hello everybody, and this week's reading is with the Monstero, because we all knew that sooner or later, Lisa was going to grab this deck for me. I'm surprised it wasn't the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth deck that she sent. So this one has a nice little guidebook, and as always, I will be using the guidebook as I do the reading. I never do a reading without it. And we are going to get started. This is a week ahead reading for the collective. So whether you are finding this uh, video as it's new or whether you are just stumbling across it randomly because sometimes the universe brings you what you need when you need it, this is your reading for the week ahead. Whoop. Now, shuffle rifling is not... Ooh, I got a good one. Rifling is usually something I find a magical way to screw up in some way, so that worked out really well. Let's see what we got going here. So, first card... Nine of Swords, Queen of Wands. These do not have any particular order of um, timing. We've got two nines, which might not necessarily uh, bode well, but we'll see Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is anxiety. Nine of Swords is anxiety. Um, as we can see, the little guy here is trying to rest, and there's all these swords hanging over him. This is the fear that you're gonna get stabbed in the back just before the tennis sword shows up and stabs you in the back. So let's just see what that has to say. Come on, nine of swords. Oh, there it is, seven. Nine of swords. Sometimes, sometimes, I mean, there, there's going to be occasions where I'm going to be doing a reading, and if I don't particularly like or connect with the gut, with the little, with the little book, I'll, I'll pick a different book. But we'll see. Okay, so the nine of swords, and all of these cards are upright. So let's see if that's good, good or not. So we got swords, wands, and cups. Nine of swords, worry, despair, and nightmares. So something is just wrecking your fucking day. Something is making you miserable. And Usually with the Nine of Swords, it turns out that these are unwarranted fears. Um, or maybe one or two of the fears are warranted, but the rest of it is just is just back is just white noise that you've just, that you've thrown on the pile because you're already anxious. So this little monster appears to just be waking from a bad dream to discover looming swords above him. He has a book a look of fear and clings tightly to Teddy for comfort. Oh, he's, he's holding a teddy bear. Let me get this up here. Holding a teddy for comfort. Um, the swords are still in his imagination. He is still in his bad dream. Wake up. So the card meaning your doubts and nightmares are weighing you down. So you are dealing with a lot of doubt this week. Uh, the swords are held in the air. It is not a physical issue that you face, but mental anguish. So you, so something, yeah, something is just wrecking your day. Occasional stress is a part of life and you should not ignore concerns and worries, but you can let yourself get bogged down, but you can't let yourself get bogged down by them either. If you allow your fears to paralyze and control you, you can end up making yourself ill. Now, again, this is not uh, uh, just exactly as this says. Um, stress is a part of uh, stress, worry. This is a part of life. Maybe maybe two of maybe two of these swords are legitimate because something happened and then the rest of it is just that kick, that becoming your worst own, own worst enemy energy that when you're stressed about one or two things happening, you can become your own worst enemy and just accidentally or otherwise find all kinds of reasons to stress about all kinds of stuff that shouldn't be stressing you at all or shouldn't be maybe a, maybe a past hurt or injury is now just top of mind even though it's long even though it's a long gone issue that shouldn't be that shouldn't necessarily be having the same impact either way. You're letting in, you're letting, you're letting anxiety and stress rule you. And the majority of it is anxiety and stress that you should be able to ignore. Queen of Wands. So where is this coming from? Hey, if I look up the cards in the right order, that would be even better. Queen of Wands. Okay, so the Wands, the Queen of Wands... And here she is in all her glory, the Queen of Wands. Um, artist interpretation, full of energy, the monster Queen of Wands stands on a grassy hill with her rock for strength and her black unicat. Oh, he's got a little unicorn horn. Black unicat. Okay. Dream stars flutter about encouraging action as a joyful sunflower beams with a smile of satisfaction. So the card meaning, you can do anything you put your mind to. The Queen is a strong figure, warm and inclusive, an independent thinker, 
Open to the possibilities of the world. Your self-assurance, energy, and warmth shine through and will help you succeed, not only to achieve your own creative goals, but also to inspire and encourage those around you into taking action and chasing their dreams as well. So this is very positive, obviously. You've got everything in you've got everything you need to the queen is a strong figure, warm and inclusive, independent thinker, open to the possibilities in the world, self-assurance, energy, warmth. You've got all this going for you. You've got all of this going for you, but for some reason, something, something just fucked with your head. And this is the energy that's manifesting around you right now. But this is, this, this is, you have every, you have everything you need. You just need to address these fears, address these anxieties. Maybe just take a day off from the stress of the world. I mean, like I said, this is a, well, not like I said, like I have said in previous readings is that this is a week ahead reading for the collective. So these aren't necessarily addressing major deep, deep thoughts and deep issues. This could just be simply you had a bad day at work. You normally don't have any issues when it comes to work and you're stressing and letting it wreck your day. And sometimes that can happen. It's like if you're on a roll and things are going, if you're on a roll and things are going amazingly freaking well, one tiny setback can just mess with your head. So that could be all that you've got going on here. And let's look at the next card. This is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is generally a positive card. So let's see if it stays positive. These little monsters are scaring me. No, they're not scaring me. Okay. Come on, seven page. Okay. Wishes come true. Happiness, fulfillment. Look at that. Sitting upon a mushroom. Let's get this up here in the camera here for you. Sitting on a mushroom, feeling happy and satisfied. This little monster is enjoying everything life has to offer and feels a great sense of contentment. The skies are clear. The mushrooms provide to com provide comfort, a shelter over the head, a friend by the side. Times are good. Card meaning all that you have ever wanted in life is here right before you. So you have everything you need. Um, spiritual, personal, and emotional contentment are so close that it's almost as though you can see your wishes coming true. It would be very easy to become complacent and rest in your laurels now, expecting expecting this to just happen for you. So this, this now this doesn't mean that the, that's the energy. It could become really easy to just sit on your laurels and not do anything else. Um, you have a few last steps to take to fulfillment. Easy enough, given that all you have learned and the experience on your road so far. So I think, I think after reading all three of them, I think you're going to start your week like this. I think this is kind of where you are now or where you're about to be in the next day or two. And then you're going to, then in order, the best way to get past this is to focus on who you are, who you are and how good you've got it. So this might take a few days to resolve. So focus on these two cards. Who am I? Well, I've got my ducks in a row. I know what I'm doing. It's fine. I, I'm, I've got everything I need in life. I'm fine. So the anxiety. Yeah, I think this, I think this is probably, I think this is probably sequential for most of you because these two cards are, are really positive. But it's also really easy. What if you have a what if you have a crap what if you have a crap weekend, and then you got you know something something goes wrong. You have a big fight. You have a big fight with a friend, or, or you have a breakup. You have something, and it just makes you oh this horrible thing. This thing that I don't like happened, and now I feel crappy about everything. And now everything's out. Everything and everyone is out to get me. That's what anxiety does to you, and that's what a bad day can do to you. And then you're gonna go. Well, wait a second. I'm better than this because because I'm I'm okay. This is fine. And things are things are actually you know everything else is good. I'm fine. So I think that's where you're looking at. I assumed that this was the focus. This is the focus that's gonna get you past this and into this. But I do think it's also probably sequential. You're gonna this is, this is gonna happen. Focus on this. Get to here. So. It's pretty basic. It's pretty basic and straight. It's a, it's actually pretty basic and straightforward for me. I don't think I have a lot extra to say. This is a pretty short reading because this is always, I, I call this the anxiety card. I think a lot of people do call it the anxiety card, but the queen of wands, you know, she's nurturing. She's got, she's got everything. She's got everything that she needs. Let's just look it up again. Let's, let's just, I, this is why I write down notes when I'm being smart. 
Let's look up the Queen of Wands again. So, because if we're going sequentially, if we're going sequentially, the Queen of Wands is going to is what's going to get you past this. I just want I just want to reread and and get the artist again. Um, full of energy, the monster Queen of Wands stands on a grassy hill with her rock for strength and her black unicat. Dream stars flutter about, encouraging action as a joyful sunflower beams with a smile. And it's really that simple. So some something's going to get somebody's going to some someone or something is going to get in your way, bring the Nine of Swords to you. And then you're just going to remember that you are, you do have the strength to get, you, you have, you're, you're, you're strong enough to deal with this and you've got everything that you need to move forward, be a success in whatever way you need to be a success and life is good. And that's it. This is pretty basic and to the point. I don't think I need to add anything else because this is, this is really simple. And I do think, I do think on reflection, now that I've considered the entire reading, I do think this is probably sequential and this is the energy. This, this you probably can't do much about. You know, somebody picks a fight with you, you can't do anything about that. But focusing on this will bring you to that. And first part of your week isn't going to be so, isn't necessarily going to be so much fun. But the rest of you, rest of it's going to go fine. Just focus on that queen. Don't, this card can carry through for the entire week if you let it. Because that's what, that's what the nine of swords can do. Don't let it carry you through for the entire week. Focus on the queen. Focus on the independence and move forward from there. And that is your reading. And as always, if you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments because I'm just, I'm learning too. And this is how I learn. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the things. I will be back later with another one and you guys have a great day. Bye.